um, every potentia. So, labda ni sungumuze kwa ile lugha wa Kenya watu watafahamu. Na yesa anza. So, ndugu zanguni eh, kutoka kwa media, mwakaribishwa National Police Service Headquarters. Um, tumeona ni vizuri, tusungumuze na nyinyi ndiyo mutusaindie kueleza wa Kenya wenzetu. E, kwa sababu kidogo tumesikia wananchi wafahamu e, kile kinaendelea. Ndivyo tumeona ni vizuri tuje tueleze muambie watu wetu watukufu, wananchi wa wa nchi yetu ambaye ni nzuri na tunaipenda. Ya kwamba kesho Jumatatu waje kazi. Kila mtu ile kazi ufanya kama ni kwenda shambani, kwenda ofisini, kwenda kwa duka lake, soko ama jambo lolote ambalo ndilo tegemeo lake. Wa Kenya wote waende kazi kesho. Um, niko na maofisa wenzangu hapa all the service commanders labda yule yuko ni DCI kwa sababu alikuwa kule Mombasa um, tuko tayari sisi ni kuhakikishia inchi yetu ni tulivu na salama every corner of this country is secure and safe kuna watu wachache ambao wamejaribu kutishia kutisha na labda kusema kwa lugha ya kimombo intimidating fellow Kenyans there is our country all of us si zote hii ni nchi yetu whether mtu mdogo ama mtu mkubwa either kwa utajiri ama kwa mwili sisi tuko sawa hii ni nchi yetu na ningependa kuuliza wa Kenya wote wafurahie kuishi furahia kuwa kwa nchi yako ambaye Mungu alikupa. Tumesikia wengine wanasema sijua hata kesho wataleta vurugu jiji na Nairobi hakuna jambo kama hilo litafanyika. Tuko tayari kama kikosi cha polisi kuhakikisha kuna utulivu kwa nchi nzima. Na kwanza jiji letu la Nairobi tuko na wageni wengi kwa jiji letu many foreign missions na atutakubali kabisa kitu kibaya kifanyike kwa jiji letu na tumeamua tumeamua kama service commanders kesho watu wanaruhusiwa kuja city center uko huru kwenda mahali popote lakini kama uko na nia ya kuleta vurugu uko armed na what we call offensive weapons mawe panga rungu utapata cha mtemakuni hilo nataka kukuambia saa huu yeyote ako na huo mpango kesho kuleta vurugu kwa nchi yetu utakipata whichever level you are in the society whichever status niko na rand kuruza za kutosha kutupa wewe nyuma ya rand kuruza kesho siweki mtu kwa parado yote nita arrest whoever you are nikurusha wewe kwa rand kuruza nyuma uende jela ufungwe milele kwa hivyo ntarudia you are armed with offensive weapon unatoka kwa estates kutoka kule tunakuona uka na nia ya kuleta vurugu tutakuundumia uko kwa estates na tuko tayari njameni tuko tayari tutadil na wewe uko kwa estate utabaki uko uko hakuna ambaye ataruhusiwa kuja kwa city center ati aharibu mali kama kikosi cha polisi we have really restrained ourselves unajua tulikuwa naangalia eh mambo vile yanaenda watu wanasema server tufungue server 
jameni hata mimi kama inspector general mimi sijaiona server huyu server na kaje labda mnisaidie huyu server na kaje mimi sibujumu nyama na kaje anaitwa server siuliza wala na kaje na hii server wa, 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 wa. kwa nini unataka kuchafua inchi kwa sababu kitu ambacho mwananchi wa kawaida afahamu mimi sifahamu kama inspector general those are political issues political issues which need political solution but when it comes to security, I've amended as an inspector general to ensure I protect life and property. And I'm very good at that. I will not sleep on the job. These politicians crossed the line in Kisumu. Wakati walivamia a function ambayo ilikuwa ya CAK, Communication Authority of Kenya wakavamia chakula ikaribiwa ikaibiwa wanaanza kuvunja eh, katrali kuharibu mali that is where they cross the line tukasema we have been restraining ourselves we cannot do that anymore we must come out as a police service to ensure law and order is maintained so wondo jumbe natua pale kwa kila mtu asikie kesho jaribu utakiona whoever you are i'll deal with you nimesikia <laughs> politicians nimeangalia last week wanaanza kutisha a regional commander wangu bungei tutashika wewe tutapeleka international court tuta... kwa nini unaogopa kome una deal na mdogo wangu deal with the kome i'm ready i'm the commander of the national police service the back stops with me. Don't start intimidating my junior officers. Kuna wengine wanaanza ku intimidate um, a young police woman, Maseno. Imejaa kwa social media. A constable. <laughs> Why don't you target the IG? Can I call them cowards? Face the IG. I'll deal with you as a law abiding citizen of this country. I have a job to do. And I will discharge that mandate without fear or favor. Wherever you are, I will deal with you. And you are Kenya, where now to live? Jameni, tuko na watoto wanazaliwa leo, ambao they have a future. I'm an old man. Why do I want to destroy this country? These children have a future. Can we give them a chance? Have they enjoyed my life? To get who I am, an old man, as an inspector general. I have been to school. Nipatiwa nafasi ya kusoma, kuenda primary, secondary, chuo kiku. Kwa ni tunataa kuwaribia wa toto wanazariwa leo. Because of our selfish interests. Uo ndi ujumbe na ambia wa Kenya wenzangu. Tue na utulivu, tupende inchi yetu, tuko na inchi, nzuri. Lakini mambo ya kutishatisha wengine tuwache. Tuwache na tuweke kando. Enough is enough. If you have uh, issues with um, me as a person, confront me. Not young tondolas. Confront me as a person. Yo sabu unasema ikafunguliwe, enda fungua, siju hiko wapi mimi. Kwa nini unataka umeuliza, nasikia wanauliza warusiwe kila street ya Nairobi. Wendo wakitembea wakiuliza Sava. Kwa Inanga Street, Moy Avenue, Juja Road. Jameni, kwa ni Sava na kila pali kwa Jiji na Nairobi? That's the message. I thought uh, there is need for, for us to be very clear. So that tomorrow, whoever causes trouble, we deal with them at a jela umu mwenyewe. And we call for your support, uh, my good friends from the media. This is our country, all of us. And may God bless you. Can I stop there? Unless they have any issue, you may want me to clarify. Do, do I start with a good lady? Please. Oh, Kasarani? 
Ah, mambo ya kasarani. Si kasarani ni mtaa wa Nairobi. Kama vile tuko na mtaa wa Buruburu, tuko na mtaa wa Kilimani, mtaa wa Lavington. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have asked about uh, Kasarani, and I've told you clearly. It's among our beautiful estates in uh, this city. Right? Just like Lavington, Buruburu, Ruai, wherever. So if a murder occurs, we have a duty uh, to investigate. Um, so is all this issues have been brought to our attention and they're in good hands. They're being investigated. Mutuyote Akifariki is what we call, is a sudden death. is provided at the Criminal Procedure Court. You know, sudden death. So all these issues are being investigated. So tukapata, tutapata kama, kupata ukweli, kama mutu kweli likuwa suicide, kama liwawa, ama where have been this year has brought my attention. There is one case we have, we have, we shall go to court for exhumation. Kosotu nambiwa, uyu ali ruka kutoka kwa, kwa kwa nyumba, nyumba fulani, lakini tunangalia yoshimo, so we need again to have that body exhumed, look at the dimensions. Pali ya litokea na mwili wake. So we are, we are doing thorough investigations, as I've told you, including exhumation. But as you know in the law, for us to exhume any, any body, we need a court order. Therefore, we are going before court. Because one of the cases you've mentioned, already the victim has been buried. So there's a lot going on. Whoever found culpable will face the law. Mambo ya picha, wale wale onekana kwa magazeti. Yes, sindio, tu iko mapicha tumepena kule inje na kesho, hata kesho. Kesho, tutachukua picha. Yote ataonekana, akibeba mawe, akibomua, akialipu mali. Tutachukua tuwa. Aa, hizo picha dadangu, dadangu, ntakueleza, angalia hii logo. Hii logo, I'm the president of African police. At the moment, as you are sitting, Kenya, we, 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 we have the EO seat. We cheer Afripo, African police. I'm the president of Afripo, African police in the whole continent. Kwa hivyo kama hii jambo ilifanyika Burundi, I'm interested. Kama ilifanyika Rwanda, I'm interested. So don't worry, yes, it's true. So a criminal is a criminal. We work with Interpol, work with um, um, what you call Yapco. 14 countries. Ukifanya makosa Seychelles, I will follow you. Ukifanya makosa uh, um, Southern Sudan, because I'm, that is my responsibility as the, pres as the president of Africa. So, yes, all those pictures, whether, whether from wherever, I'm interested in all those matters. Does not matter. Yes, if, even if, if you committed a murder, 2000 or even 1999, a murder file is never closed. You committed a murder in 1990. That matter is still alive. So whichever time it took place, you are a criminal. So we shall follow you up to your last day on earth. Yes, do. Uh, uh, on that, that is a very good question. That's a good question. Police have not asked for support. Please, any member of the public, anafikiria atakuja na rungu, asaindie polisi, avana, we have our regulated button. 
there is a tear gas we use ambayo inatumika kisheria ki, ki imeangaliwa iwezi uwa kama ni rubber bullet so ningeomba vile ombati ameuliza au anataka kusema anataka kuja kusaidia na polisi na rungu na panga tafadhali mkae kando au deal with you just like another criminal yote anakusema anataka kusaidia polisi ako na rungu ako na nini nitakushika nitakushughulikia nitakupeleka kotini nitadilu na wewe kama vile sheria inasema asante sana Mungu abariki Sisa sawa. God bless you.